boy, umbrella down, trying to just keep dry until the very last moment. Now he knows, can he secure a sensational sixth world title? He knows what he's got to do. He's got to keep his game face on. He's got to put the difficulty of this teeming rain that is coming down here behind him, keep his composure. It should be within his compass, but nothing is predictable. He's got to get the timing right. He's got to work out that mixture between aggression and also the precision, the pace. So he's taking one last look. It's all come down to this. Boyd XL comes into the arena, sitting with that cushion ahead of his great rival, Ice Brun Chardon. These two have dominated the sport, spurring each other on to achieve new heights. Now, in he comes to begin the final round here. Individual gold medalist on five consecutive, not just five occasions, five consecutive occasions. He's absolutely dominated at the top end of the sport for so long. But what is going to happen? Is he going to break that record and get six? Or is Ives Brand about to equal him? We'll know in just a moment. Well. But if anyone can keep his cool, this is why he has done so well for so long, because right down to the very last second, he will keep his cool. He will be so hungry for this. He will keep focused, communicating down those reins with his horses, turning, keeping the flow, making sure that he is as precise as he's ever been. Look at the way the leaders are working. Keeping it forward. Now they do eat up the ground, as we've said, these wonderful warm bloods that he drives. So well trained and he's time and time again during interviews given credit to his horses. Through eight, now it's coming to nine. Trying to look at where the time is. It's not blisteringly quick, but I don't think he needs to worry about that. And he's he's not bad. He can have a few time penalties as long as the balls stay on top. Yes, it would be lovely to get a double clear. What a flourish that would be. But at the moment... He's, just the, a, he's in time fault territory. At the moment, he's not overly worried. Well, who knows what he's thinking. He just wants to get another gold medal. It's that simple. And a few time faults will not... Because he, as I say, he's 9.62, but he's got to remain clear, and that he is at the moment as he comes through 13, about 110 there, which is where many have been. And that tight turn, he did the full U-turn between 13 and 14, the, the same route that we were, walked. It seems like a lifetime ago now. <laughs> a lifetime. It? I'm glad we didn't do it in this rain, that's for sure. Oh, but anyway, well, lucky, yes. quite, quite a nice tight turn there for Boyd. Just looking down there, but it's still so far, so far. He's gone through 15. He's clear. There are 20 elements to it. Keeping his horse, horses engaged, coming through. It's looking good. I have to say, it's looking good. Is he going to secure his sixth? Through 17, medal? stays clear. He's got. It's officer. very smooth, isn't it? it? Yes. You can breathe, Sarah, you can breathe. But <laughs> now, it's not lightningly quick, but he's steady as you go. And this is so typical. The experience coming to the fore, still clear through the C, B part. Now the C part. He's going to pick up time faults, but it should be all right now as he stays clear through that. Now one more to go. Now he's got nine. Points, seconds in hand, is he coming through now? Time fault, he's got to keep going. It should be enough as long as he stays clear here. He is clear. Can he make sure he's got the gold yes. medal? Yes, he has. He wants, he just wants to be 100% sure. But Boyd XL is our world champion once again.
It was a no panic, no thrills round, but he did exactly what was required to hold off all comers once again with a magnificent display set up by that dressage in round one. A steady marathon yesterday, but it's Australia's Boyd XL who is our individual world champion. What a performance.